<laughs> That's the sound that the hyena ton makes. So hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. Now before we start, I just want to address the previous episode. I called it winning the Titana Boa and I put an exclamation. Like I said like winning the Titan. Oh god, hold on. It's zoomed in. I have to do that there. Nope, still zoomed in. Back to where we were. I just want to say uh, I didn't notice that um, that had been the case and people had been sort of clickbaited in quotations into clicking that video because I did put, oh my God, who's buzzing us, man? Do I stop writing poop, Whitney? God damn it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, uh, I didn't realize that it was like a clickbait title. Um, and I changed it to like a question mark. And I like how so many people were just instantly like, ah, clickbait, bleh. Guys, for the people who know me, really? Really? <laughs> you think I would do it unironically, clickbait? No, like Jesus. You think I'm that thirsty for views? No, I'm not like that. I swear, I don't like it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, ooh, uh, did I watch one video? I did watch one video and got 20 DNA. Not bad, I suppose. Uh, ooh, what? Top prize is 5,000 DNA. Whoa! 100? Ooh. Ooh. 100 VIP points for 3,000 DNA? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I gotta do it. 2,000, take it. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, there's food. What the? The hell's going on with that one? I kind of do want to watch a video for that. I'll not do it now just because you'll have to skip through it. 23 million coins for 6,000 DNA. Oh, that's a good trade. Oh, wow. It's, oh, I'm so glad we decided to record today's video. So basically, I wanted to have it like, can't like, because we talk about winning the Titana Boa, because loads of you guys have actually won the Titana Boa. Oh, even more VIP points um, on the spin wheel. And so I'm like, I, I mean, we talked about that a lot, and I was like, oh, well, that can be the title of the video. I could have easily have called it something else, but, you know, it is, we do the Titana Boa. We could have been, like, Triple Legendary or God knows what. Um, so I, I kind of want to apologize for the people who thought that I, w I would be like that, because I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, do that. Um, I mean, to be honest, I know a lot of you guys wouldn't think that. It's just... Like, maybe like 1% of people might have been like, yeah, look at him, great for views, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not like that at all. So, what I'm hoping, actually I put in way too good of creatures, we've easily won this, um, is that we can just go in, just do the tournament, like this tournament, get as high as we can. I mean, look at what I'm facing here. <laughs> and a lot of people are um, posting their own battles, showing that they're incredibly difficult in comparison to what I'm fighting. Um... And, um, yeah, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. I, I mean, I think it's, is it just luck or are you always facing the same thing? It's like, because I'm, some people are posting pictures of, it's always like tournament creatures or it's always legendary creatures. And if it is that all the time, then there's something wrong with the way the average is working out, like what you've, you're facing in, in terms of your creatures. So, um, I'm hoping that if that is what you're, what's happening to you guys, then it will be fixed, because that sucks. I mean, the thing is with this, right? Uh, it seems easy, but every now and again, you face up against hard creatures. So if you do put in low creatures, you might just lose. Um, so you do have to put in some good creatures. And we're on like 2,000 points, and we've still got like three days left. And um, I'm having to do it every day. Um, and not, like, I, I guess I could buy back creatures for other events, but I'm kind of focusing on this. Like, we're on 2,541, and we're only 42nd. So, you do have to grind for this. And kind of, oh, <laughs> we only got close to it once. We got close to it once. But then again, guys, we all know that you can't just, like, time the wheel. We've done that before, uh, in the past when I made a video that was like, It's rigged! Blah, blah, blah. Um... And I think we like, because it switched out the prize for what you were going to win. So it doesn't matter when you click it, if you click it straight away, if you leave it to spin around a couple of times and then click it, that doesn't seem to make a difference to um, what you're going to win in the prize wheel. So hopefully I got to go first here. Oh, damn it. Is he going to switch? No, okay. Well, he only had one. So you know what? I'm going to go for two. Oh, he didn't even block, damn it. That means Zalmox is going to kill me in one because he's got like 1,800. Yep, there we go. He's dead. It's up to Ostafricosaurus. That's what it's up to. I'm hoping that when uh, Mycoposaurus comes in, 
they'll switch. They shouldn't really, because uh, Zalmoxes will still have more attack than Zing Zing Bajin. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Also, guys, I just want to say, the the sales for the Kano, the Toast plushies have been unreal. Absolutely unreal. And I kind of just want to say, like, it's, it's weird, because if you didn't want it, then you, you don't have to buy it. So it's weird for me to say, like, I, I'm really appreciative of you, of, like, like that is so awesome that you guys have supported that plushie. Because it could have went... Com it, I, I mean, I've never done a plushie before, so God knows how the sales could have went. But we sold over a thousand. A thousand! Can you imagine? A thousand Toast plushies. I can't get over that. A thousand. I don't think I've sold a thousand of anything. I never really sell anything at all. <laughs> a thousand. Like, that's crazy. And I make, like... Like, I mean, we we did have the, like, 10% off because I wanted to make them as cheap as possible. But because it's, like, they're selling for normal prices, but they should have been selling for higher. They should have been more than $30. I think they are an American. I think it's $30, which is still quite expensive. Um, but, you know, it is an exclusive, and you can only buy it there. So, I think, like... In a way, like, they sort of counter each other out. But they should be more expensive. Because that little bit of toast that goes around, um, toast. Is, like, different material. And that's having to be made from another process. So, in other words. It's kind of. It costs more to make than a regular plushie. So, I'm making, like. What? Two quid? Two quid per plushie? <laughs> so, like, I want to make. I want to sell them for as cheap as I could. Because. The way my attitude has been with merchandise has always been that I want you guys to have something if you want it. And I, I like, YouTube, I've been lucky enough that YouTube, um, the, you know, the income I make from YouTube is more than enough. So I don't need to go, okay, merchandise, rubs hands together, let's make more money. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I've never been like that, so, um... Um, for some people, I can understand that, yeah, it, it does seem expensive um, in some ways. But that's why we've done the 10% off. And that's why, we, I think on Black Friday, we also had 25% off. In fact, if you're watching this video, go look now. Unless, you know, it's not near Black Friday. Fly, fly. It's Black Friday, yo! <laughs> Next to Black Friday. Um, but if it is, like, if you're watching this on the day of it going uploaded, um, going live, um, have a look just to see if the 25% discount is off, is on. Um, some people might be like, well, how you did, um, why, I bought it for 10% when I could have got 25% off. I didn't actually know that that was going to be a thing at all. If I knew that, then I would have made a video saying, okay, guys, save until this date and then buy them. But, um, apparently that's a thing I had no idea about. So if you haven't bought a Toast Plushie and the deal is still going, now's the time to buy one because it's, it's a lot cheaper. So five, six, seven, he's got three block. Can I kill it in two? Surely I can. Oh, I can almost kill it in one. Awesome. So, what I'm hoping is going to happen today is that we are going... I mean, we're, we're going to do this tournament for a while. Uh, and then we're going to win some other packs as well. Don't worry. It's not just going to be this tournament. Because uh, I don't use my best creatures. I don't use Udon. I don't use, uh, like, a level 40 Pterodactylus. I don't use my Metaophodon in the tournament. Because I know that there's going to be other prizes we can win. And it would just be wasted. Um, oh, there it is. Is it going to be today? Uh, yes. It's gonna happen. So many of you guys have won it, and for the first time, like, on the Facebook group, it's just been going crazy with the amount of people, and on Twitter, like, tagging me, saying, look what I won! <laughs> so, I'm confident that we can win this. I'm really confident. Um, although, you know, on when I finally did win the Mosasaurus, it took a bloody long time to win that. So, I'm confident, but, you know, it might not happen in this episode. I mean, depending on what the thumbnail is, you might know. Maybe I've tricked you again. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I wouldn't clickbait, guys. Unless, like, unintended. If it's... I, unless it's, like, for a joke. Maybe. Oh, no. Is it going to glitch out? Oh, uh, I mean, I know for a fact I've got good internet. So if you tell me I've disconnected... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take that. That's good. Okay, yeah, we've definitely won this. I think, uh, yeah, three hits more than kill him. Two. Yeah, I had to go for three. It wasn't even close. So he's only got two now. Oh, he's got three. No, he's got two. You went first, right? No, I went first because I had three, didn't I? Um, you know what? I'm just going to attack him anyway. Yeah! It's good to be ballsy! Awesome. 
Um, so yeah, like I'm really enjoying making content at the moment. We're doing like a Jurassic Park Operation Genesis series that I'm really enjoying. I hope you guys are too, if you are watching it. And um, like I'm enjoying doing this actually. I didn't expect to be doing, like I know there's other like videos that we I do feel like I need to catch up on. Like I haven't made an Isle video in a while and I haven't made a Primal Carnage video in a while. So don't worry, those aren't dead by any means. They will come. Um, I'm just like enjoying doing what I'm doing at the moment. So for those guys that do want to see the Isle and are watching this video, don't worry, it is coming. For those guys who do want the Isle and aren't watching this video, they're never going to hear that. <laughs> but it is coming. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll do, we'll do, hold on, where's my phone? Oh, sorry, that's right, I threw it on the floor. Hold, two things, just think, just get it. Yeah, there we go, okay. Now, what I, I don't normally do is go through comments on previous videos, but you know what, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll see if any of you guys have got any questions. Um, and or, or anything, I'll just make some comments. Because, don't get me wrong, we can talk about my cup of tea. <laughs> Which I actually don't have today. Um, now let's have a look. What was, what was the last one from recording this one? Oh, oh, Spinosaurus, I like it. I like, oh, ooh, Tapijellosaurus as well. So yeah, it was winning the Titanoboa uh, spin wheel question mark. I've changed the question mark now. I didn't mean to do exclamation mark. And <laughs> it's got like 200 dislikes. But, saying that, it does have 4,000 likes, so it does have more than dislikes it would normally have. But that's just people like, for so, like what I've realized after doing YouTube is that people like to see other people fail. Or they like to point out flaws. If somebody makes a mistake and, you know, you're putting yourself in the public eye, especially on YouTube, they, there will be people out there who, are, his sole purpose is to dislike on every video and to try to get your channel to fail. It doesn't matter what you do. There will always be somebody like that. Um, but, like, and for those people out there, like, who I'm uh, watching the video or whatever, it, just in general, uh, don't give them any sort of time of day. Don't comment to anything. Don't look at anything. I mean, I don't. I mean, even from the start, when I would get, like, a, a comment or whatever, I just wouldn't even look at it. I'd just be like, oh, okay, that's sad. <laughs> Like, it's sad that somebody got out of the way to do that. So, I, I would I would deliberately pay them no attention. I wouldn't even... Because that's what people want. They want to get a rise. They want to see that you've seen it and be like, Ha-ha! Like, if we go back to when I was starting this channel, um, and we were doing Jurassic World the game, or uh, Jurassic Park Builders, or God knows what. Oh, I just realized he's got, like... Ooh, he's got a lot of wrinkles under his chin there. Ooh. Good masseuse. He need a good massage. Um, but yeah, when I was back starting uh, this channel... And it was, I mean, dinosaur channels weren't really a thing. Um, like, because we're talking about 2015, before Jurassic World, um, before Ark. There was very few people sort of, like, doing dinosaurs. There probably was, don't get me wrong, because um, I was doing animation. And the only reason that I went into gaming was just a fluke. I was like, oh, let's give this a shot if I don't get a job. And I did a couple of episodes of Pokemon, which did okay. Um, and then I did a Jurassic Park Builder video, and it blew up, and I was like, whoa, is it, um, have I just discovered, like, a niche? Is, is, is there, like, is nobody else covering this? But then when I googled, I was like, oh, there are people covering this. And they do have, like, similar views, so I was like, oh, okay. Which is really good, because if that hadn't have happened, I would have never shared my passion for dinosaurs with you guys. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> well, I'm dead. Um... So I would never have shared my passion for dinosaurs with you guys. So in a way, I'm really glad that, um, like, I did all of a sudden just one day go. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna see if I can, if I make a video and if it, you know, goes well. Um, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, what was I talking about? Yeah, we've definitely lost this. But we'll try anyway. We'll try to win it. I would have loved Zalmoxis in last. Oh, they're swapping. Ooh, okay. Are you gonna attack as well? Yeah, okay, maybe it's not over yet. Maybe it's not. Um, oh god, yeah, it probably is. If we die here, it's definitely over. So, when I started my channel, and it started growing, it started picking up uh, momentum, and you guys were sort of... I, I wonder if any of you guys are still here, actually, at episode 300, two years later. Um, yeah, we definitely lost. I might as well just attack, just get this over with, because this team is insane. Um, and even six probably isn't enough to kill it. Nah. <laughs> well, anyway, he tried. So, um, there, like, 
Oh, I can't remember what I was saying. I know what I'm gonna get get to. Oh yeah, about commenters. Um, so I got a lot of people saying because the biggest dinosaur channel that I knew of um, was Best in Slot. Because I remember going, oh wow, am I the only one doing this? And then typing in Jurassic Park Builder, and his channel was one of the top ones that came up. Apart from, you know, the channels that don't commentate or do anything like that. So I didn't really class them as, you know, personality channels where there's somebody driving the channel. It's just sort of gameplay footage. If that game stops, then their channel stops, um, which is kind of the way it is. But um, so I remember how I had one person um, and what they would do, they would comment on his videos and say, oh, the gaming beef is better. You suck. And... I remember this 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 account coming back to my uh, page on one of my videos and saying like, oh, Best in Slot sucks in, in comparison to you. And I remember giving him a warning. I was like, what are you doing? Like that is, that's the complete opposite of what I want to happen. Like here, we're both, we both like, the thing is we both have very similar interests. We both play the same game or like similar games because we have the same interest. Not because, oh, we're copying or someone's copying the other. Um, so like that, that happened a couple of times and he, he did it multiple times. And I, like after me saying, you know, stop doing that. And because uh, it, it, it's not what I want. It's not what I want from my channel. I don't want people doing stuff like that. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I shouldn't have lost Connor after we could lose this very easily. So I'm going to do that. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> no, Skeletor! Ah! Why'd you make me go for two hits, you fool? Anyway, um, so what I ended up doing was banning him. Um, and, like, looking back, it was the right thing to do. Um, like, he, he didn't hate my channel. He was just, like, stirring up trouble in, um, on his channel and just making, like, this drama. So... Even though he liked me and liked this channel, I just couldn't have that. So I, I had to block him because um, I didn't want that at all. Uh, hopefully that person is still watching. <laughs> um, he's probably gotten over that. But the thing is, it's funny because there was somebody like that on his channel who would come over to my channel and say that I sucked and would try to stir up stuff. Um, and I don't know if he's... I, I know I didn't block him. I know that for sure. Um... But I feel like I've, I've still seen maybe him around, so I don't, I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Because uh, when we were both grow, like, go, go, sort of growing at the same pace when Jurassic World was coming about, there was a lot of, like, people... Because people love drama. People love making teams. They're like, oh, yeah, this guy sucks. I like this one. How dare you? I like this guy. And that's just the way it is. I mean, you look at culture. We, like, you've... Two people... Who or two tribes of people that have grown up next to each other or near each other hate each other. You got the English and the French killed each other. <laughs> You've got the um, I'm sure this like Americans and Canadians don't like each other. It's just no matter when there's like Japanese Chinese. I don't know. Maybe they probably don't like each other. North Korean South Korean. It's just whenever two tribes of people, um, they just don't like each other. I've, I've very rarely seen a case, and I think that's just human nature. We just like to... It's like with football as well, like any sports, you've got teams. Why pick... Like, there was one guy I was in a taxi with once, or an Uber, uh, to be more specific. And um, I remember he said that he used to just like watching football. Um, and then he had a friend who had a team, and he found it so fascinating that when that team was losing, he would be depressed. And when the team was winning, he would like be so happy, you know, he'd go out for a drink, he'd, you know, have fun. Uh, but if his team was losing, it would just be like, oh, just the end of the world. And he couldn't understand that. So, and he realized that he himself was starting to get that way. So if a team lost, he would like just be depressed. Uh, so end of the, the end of the story, uh, that guy um, decided to just support the winning team. <laughs> and that way, no matter what the match goes like, he's happy. And I think that's a really good way to look at it. I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with having team. Um, but like I said, it's, I think it's just nature. I think it's human nature to find differences in things. And it, it's a lot easier to look at differences and hate them than to look at the similarities. Um, and it, it's always been that way. Human beings are naturally a flawed species. <laughs> we are. It's, I mean, we're so intelligent that we we go, we're selfish. We, we like to have... I don't know. It's like 
I would say that animals don't have a selfish bone in their body, but my dog, Jesus, he knows when he's doing things bad. He knows when he shouldn't have something, but he does it anyway. He doesn't care. Uh, especially when it comes to food. He knows he's not supposed to be on the table. He knows he's not supposed to be eating that thing. Like, he got like, a, what was it, like a, a whole potato, a raw potato, a big one, in his gob. He knocked it off from the table and just ran around the garden with it, started eating it. <laughs> and he knew he wasn't supposed to have it. He was being chased, but he didn't care. He was like, nah, I'll just eat it anyway. But that's just the way he is. I feel like there's some exceptions to the case. Um, humans more so than anything else. Uh, and I've also started reading The Lost World, um, the novel, because um, I I have, I think I used to have an audiobook, <laughs> but I never owned the novel. And I also got Jurassic Park uh, novel form as well for my birthday. So I'm going to read both of those. Uh, I mean, I already know the stories of them because I had them on audio tape when I was a kid because I didn't like reading. I was a lazy bugger. I'd rather have it read to me. Uh, but I'm reading it now and it's... It's, re it's really uh, it's really good so far. I haven't really got too far into it, but I'm I'm enjoying it. There's something different about reading a book as opposed to watching a film or, you know, something similar. I quite like that. I quite like to just read and it's relaxing. It's sort of... And y you can read it in your own time and you can see things the way you see things. You can see characters the way you see characters. Um, but yeah, I can't remember where I was going with that. Hey, it's a good day today, isn't it? We're 20 minutes in and we haven't stopped talking. <laughs> you see, now I didn't even need Prime Switch. Just, I didn't even need Dino Charis here. Or Dino Charis. Dino Charis. Um, we've basically won this without losing any dinosaurs. Oh, well, yeah. Tabby Jellosaurus isn't going to get switched out. I'm just going to go the offensive the whole time. Because chances are he's only going to block for one. Like he did there. And he's dead. And eventually, Alanqua, which has 138, 83 attack. So, he would probably have to have 8 attack to kill me. I would assume. So, I'm just going to go for 3. And there you go. That was like the quickest fight. <laughs> Every turn I had, I used it and killed him. So, that was 3 turns. Well, 5 if you include that turn, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, like, I'm enjoying the content where I'm at. I'm having fun. And... Uh, the toast, like the toast plushies, that was insane. I never expected them to be that, like, um, big, you know, for you guys to love them that much. Because I can't lie, they're good plushies. They're really good plushies. I love the quality of them. And, like, there's something that I've always tried to keep when it comes to um, talking to you guys. And that's a certain level of genuineness. Like, I, if a game's bad, I'll tell you it's bad. I, like... The amount of times I've badmouthed this game in particular. I'm surprised Ludia haven't, like, said something. I really am. Um, I've, I've just got to think that maybe they don't do that for fear of backlash. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason I can think. They don't say anything. Um, but, you know, maybe they can take criticism. And I think that's a good thing. There's many game developers out there that would like, wouldn't do that at all. Um, in fact, I know of one game that I criticized the animation of, and the animator of that game, of said game, which I'm not gonna say, um, started bad-mouthing me behind my back to his own, like, people, and saying that I didn't know anything about animation, and that, um, like, he, like, he was, I don't know, just especially when it comes to animation, how can you not take criticism? That's what it's all about. Nobody sits down to learn something, especially in animation, and knows everything about it. And I, I just couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that it, this person was doing that. Um, and, like, I wasn't mad. I mean, I don't know everything about animation. I mean, you learn as you go on. Like, what I thought back in university when I was doing animation, and what I know now, are two completely different things. And damn it, I didn't do one extra! <laughs> I just felt a bit sorry for the kid. Because, I mean, he was, uh, the person was young and obviously was hurt by my comments to respond in such a way. Um, which I didn't mean to hurt him. I was just, you know, I mean, obviously he was very proud of his work and was very annoyed that uh, I had responded negatively to it. Um, but, I, you know, I didn't. I was just criticized. I, you know, I was giving criticism and, you know, you can take that whichever way you want. Whether it's constructive or you just go, No, you're completely wrong and I've just lost the game, damn it! <laughs> oh yeah, I knew as soon as um, I saw that Soprano Titan, it was over. And I was going to put in another herbivore and I probably would have lost. So we're starting to get onto our 
better creatures. So I'm probably gonna have to put Spinaraptor in, then Enosaurus, and that's def- that should have won! I'd probably say 80% of matches that I come up against, that team should do alright. Thinking about it though, I might have put Enosaurus in first if I would switch anything. Just because that has loads of health. And look at that! Look at that! If I faced this team in the other match, I would have been completely fine. So I'll have a look. I'll see if um, there's any... I know there's like a battle stage infinite that we can get. And I think there's a VIP event too. I just can't, I just want to win that tight on a boat. It's just right. it. <laughs> I mean, even if we do get lucky and we manage to win it, we're only going to get a level 10 because you don't unlock it. And also, I said in the previous video that I would go in the innovation center and look at it. Or at least to see its uh, silhouette. And sorry guys, I completely forgot about the doing that. So many times I go through watching videos and go, Well, I didn't include that there. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Also, I've been getting a lot of emails from people who like, Oh, we can edit your videos in exactly the same style if you pay us. And I'm kind of tempted to give them a video that hasn't been put live yet, like a episode of The Isle or an episode of something else, and just see what, like, the difference between me editing it and them editing it, saying that they could do exactly the same style as me. Um, and then, like, comparing the two and being like, well, I wouldn't do that, or this is awful, or maybe, oh, that's good. Maybe that's a good thing. Right, okay. We're on 2,800. We've got four days left. Any events? Okay, we don't... Oh. That Dino Stampede would have been good. Oh my god, everything's happening in like two days. Uh, Jarosphere is still the same. Um, Battle Stage Infinite is... Ooh, that's actually quite tough. Look at that. That's what I, the team I would normally face in the tournament. Except for not that higher level, because you can't get that level. Hmm. What about the Legendary? This. I mean... The levels are a lot better, but I wouldn't win a- And you know what? I think this up- Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Ooh, it's the Ammonite team again. To win a Phosphoracos. Nosferatu. But saying that, I'm just gonna- You know what? No, I'm just gonna continue doing this. This is gonna be this episode, because you never know. With each fight we do, we might win Titanoboa. And if I win just one Titanoboa, I'll be happy. That'll do. That'll be the end of the video. And- that's it. <laughs> I'm so like miming, but yeah, that's it. I just want to win the Titanoboa. It's possible. You can do it. You guys have, like, some of you guys have been lucky enough to win it. Ooh, I'm so jealous. Because <laughs> it's like the only creature, like, out of all the uh, marine creatures, before they were alive, we all wanted Mosasaurus. And before the Glacier, I think one creature we wanted to see back, but we were a bit unsure about was Titanoboa, because it's not technically a glacier creature, because it's a reptile, meaning it's cold-blooded, and it would die <laughs> if it was in the uh, in the Arctic. So we didn't know whether it was going to come back or not. But I'm glad it has. Glad to see it back. Uh, oh, we didn't go for... Oh, no. Now, Ophicodon has like 300 attack. It's really good. Or is it 200? Almost 300 for rare. That's really good. Uh, he can't kill me, which is even better. Um, he gives it a shot. Fair dues. Does a lot of damage. Um, but he has nothing, so I might as well just do that. Oh no, he had one block! Oh no, maybe I could die. I could die if it goes for three. Easy. I could easy die here. If it goes for four, sorry. But then it, we've, we've definitely... Oh, it was what swap? Really? Why though? And then attack. What a waste. It wasted like two goes. One because it was blocked. Two and the second one because it switched. So I still kill it in one hit. Bless it. Now I don't mind about not using my other creatures in this situation because they're not very good. And they were just there for backup. Like if I really needed to, I can switch in one to fodder it off. Oh, it goes for two. Oh, <laughs> close. But knee cigar. So I'm going to go for two... Actually, what's quicker? Probably four is quicker, the animation. Just because we've definitely won this. Actually, five. I think five is the quickest. Like, it goes... One to two is one animation. Th 
three to four is another animation, five to six is another animation, and seven to eight. So maybe the five to six would have been quicker, but it doesn't really make a difference. And we didn't move at all. Fantastic. Um, and we're also, have you noticed, no matter what I put in, and w when I win, I always get 30 odd cups. That's because I still think that the computer is putting them up to like crazy high levels and thinking that I've won. Because like, if you looked at that team, I was, I, sh I could have won that no matter what. And like my creatures were way better, which means technically I should have only won 20 cups. But I won 36, so I think it's it still thinks that those creatures are high level. But because it's a tournament, and the highest levels it can put in is 40, it's not doing it, I think. So I should only win like 22 cups for this. Because Alangasaurus isn't... I mean, it's okay. But the best one is Sarkasukas. And it's dead anyway. Oh, Carithosaurus is a no-show. <laughs> it's just dead no matter what. I've got a T-Rex level 30 and a Diplotator level 30. As well as Presser Suture's level 30, which is really good. So, but 100% we're gonna win 30 odd cups. I should just do a live stream, shouldn't I? I should just do a live stream where we just go on and on and try to win Titanoboa. But you never know, we could be there for hours and hours. I mean, so far I've probably played this tournament for maybe five hours, top, like total. So already, that's the majority of one day spent playing this and we haven't won Titanoboa. So it depends, like the people who have won Titanoboa, how long did you play it for? Like how many cups were you at when you managed to win it and what league as well? We're slowly getting up. I was like top 10 at one point. I was hoping, I was hoping that pack was Titanoboa, but it's not. 50 DNA, yeah, I guess it'll do. We'll keep on going because we do have some more creatures to use like Suchopterus. Although, saying that Suchopterus isn't too great, so I may need to switch in, uh, like, Dimetrodon to make sure that Suchopterus is last, so I've got the probably the best advantage. Like, it'll have maybe eight by that time. Uh, no! No, they're all killed in one hit, even the Ichthyostega, because we get the advantage. Hopefully we get to go first. Yeah, there we go, we're gonna kill them all in three turns. So I don't mind this. I, like... Even though I'm winning almost every time, I'm still not getting too high in the rankings. So I think it's quite balanced. I think my co my comments from the first episode I did on this. <laughs> you can ignore that because I think this is quite balanced now. I mean, I haven't used all my creatures, not doing any other sort of event just to win this one. I mean, so far I haven't spent a single buck on this. I probably made bucks. I mean, you have to pay to enter, but you know, I've won I'm pretty sure I've won a common pack and a rare pack. And is it dead? Oh, there you go. Easy. The dragon wins. Come on. This time, the dragon. Come on. Titanoboa. It's going to be, what do you think? 36? 36 cups? 35? Ooh. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're pulling ahead now. Okay, come on. Titanoboa. Titanoboa. Oh, a common pack! You know what? Um, yeah, I can't complain. Can't complain. That's really good, because we could get like a like 100 bucks? 50 bucks. Not bad. So that's reimbursed us for 10 entries. So that's probably this whole episode done. Like, we're back up to the normal amount of bucks, and we've got DNA, and we've got a creature. So, Edomorphodon, Edomama Bean, and we'll put in those two. Cause we could, you could level up Indominus to a level 10 and it would be good. I'm kind of like, what do you guys want me to spend my DNA on? Do you want Pritrodon maxed or do you want Metrophodon maxed? They're both level 30. I mean, thinking about it, it has to be Metrophodon, right? Cause it's way better than Pritrodon and Pritrodon would just be yet another carnival we've got. Ooh, I see what you're doing here, Parasaurus. What you doing? Cause you're gonna die. Oh, I went for one. Ooh, that was close. If we went for one more block, we wouldn't have killed it. Now a thousand attack gets turned into 389. I was gonna say 400, but we'll, we'll say that. So we're not dead. <laughs> Holy God, why even one? You know I've got no block. Why would you do that? Uh, might as well go for that. And yeah, wow. If he went for one more, he would. This is this is the story of this character here. This person. 
If he just went for one more block, he could have survived each time. And what's Utahraptor going to go for? <gasps> Goes for five! Which really didn't do anything, so he's got... Yeah, <laughs> he's probably got one block, which he doesn't even go for. <laughs> he thought he was going to survive for some reason. And there you go, that was easy. So we are going through this tournament pretty darn quick. We're almost on 3,000. Now, I'm like, we've still got four days, so 3,000 cups. Oh, I thought, I mean, a rare pack's really good, but I want legendary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what? It's the same book prizes in a rare and a common pack. So we got 100 books there, but we do get, like, that's what we want, VIP points. Because they're the rarity here. So we want a common pack, a rare pack, maybe next time Titanoboa? That would be really good. Let's enter. Come on, we can do it. Also, I can't wait to see what the lottery results. If we win, like... Ooh, we could win, like, we've put in 200 tickets, right? 200, well, sorry, 20 tickets. 200 tickets would be awesome. Uh, 20 tickets. 20 times five is... A uh, hundred? So we could get like a hundred thousand. Or, no, a hundred thousand. Maybe? Oh, I don't know, actually. Right, yeah, well, we'd, well that's it. Matches won. Dina Cheris was the only problem, and it's dead. <laughs> 9 22 die 2, 275. And that is it. Game, set, match. But the thing is, I could just put Mastodonosaurus in with crap. But you never know. Sometimes it's just really tough enemies. So I think if you're... Because the way the tournament is, it's divided into different tiers. So depending on what creatures you have and what level... Sorry, I think it's what level you are, then you face up against different opponents. And... I don't know. I don't know how hard the ones you guys are facing, depending on your level. Oh, oh it's almost 3,000! Come on, come on. Titanobo this time. <laughs> there it was. And there it goes. Damn it. Oh, teasing me like this. How dare you? Yeah, we might as well try this. Pterodex is level 40. I mean, it's a good creature, so it shouldn't need any backup. But we'll do that anyway. So in about like seven hours. So if I was, if I'm playing this now, which is like two o'clock. And I go and play it, you know, when I, after I've finished working at night, then I can do this again. So yeah, the only problem we got here is... Enosaurus. Uh, so I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna switch in Indominus Rex here. I'm gonna put Pterodactyls last. And I'm gonna go for a reserve. Because Indominus is still pretty strong. Oh, it doesn't switch out. I thought it would. But then... May mm, Nundagosaurus would be pretty good. Could switch out to that. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? I don't think even it knows. I mean, the person I'm facing is a car. <laughs> and you know what it is? I never face up against VIP. Never. There's never a VIP on the other team. So that's interesting. Because, I mean, we know for a fact that we're not facing real people. It's just a given. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, it's almost dead. That's okay. That's okay. We could still die in four. Oh, now it swaps. Oh, 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 okay. No wonder it didn't swap. It's got less attack. So we may as well just kill that, go for six. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's dead. And Alistor has way less attack. Like 243 to 138. So it's over 100 less attack. Uh, goes for seven. Oh, goes for six. Okay, so it's got one block. Uh, I have to go for two. And then I may as well go for like two block. And then one reserve. Meaning that I've killed it. So Alasaur's dead in two. One, two. I have to go for two block just in case it's got quite a lot of attack. And one reserve in case it didn't go for the block. And I can go for one extra. And kill it. So how much attack did it have? Like 660? Yeah, it couldn't kill us in two. If, if it had five, it might have been able to kill me. But it did go for that block. So I can go for five, and that's the really quick animation. Ooh, bush. I mean, it's as quick as you're going to get, really. With a pterodactylus. And there you go. So we should be over 3,000. <gasps> there. Awesome. So we've really hit a, 
a grind here. Like, what's the highest per- 3,500. So I've got to get another 500, uh, cups to get top. Oh, another rare pack! Yes! I mean, I really wish that the books were fixed. Uh, 500 DNA and a Pyroraptor. Pretty darn good. As well as 260 VIP points. So that was five bucks and I got all of that. That is, like, I love doing the tournament for this reason. It's just really good prizes. You get so much DNA. And you, you barely lose bucks on it, you've got to admit. So I'm slowly, I'm on 57 million food. I'm get, I'm recovering from that freaking Udon who ate everything. Ooh, he's got more attack than me, but not more health. Oh, he gets to go first. Is he going to attack? I have to go for three to kill it. He doesn't, okay. We could die in four, so I'm going to go reserve here. Oh, he does have three. I think we can die in four. A pretty, you know what? I'm going to switch out to Indominus Rex because if Tani Cola dies, then I've lost. So I may as well lose. If I'm going to lose a dinosaur, it might as well be Indominus. One, two, three. He has to go for four. Yes! I think he had five though, didn't he? Or was it four? I'm going to factor in one just in case though. Because once this thing's out, I'm pretty safe. Kill it in three. Factor in one extra. Did they have? Yeah, it did. Awesome. Bam. And that's it with one. Because Pachyceratops is as good as Carithosaurus, if not better. And Berries is not killing Tanicolosaurus. Actually, I don't know. If it went for four, it would be pretty close. <laughs> it would, I think he would either just kill me or I'd just be alive. So one, two kills him. Factor in two just in case because he did have two blocks. He doesn't, but um, that 600 attack turns into <gasps> 68, <laughs> just literally nothing. So guys, I hope you're enjoying these longer videos of this. I just really want to win. <laughs> I want it. I want the touch on the board. Please. Game's rigged. My version, it's got a code. Don't give him the Titan Boa. <laughs> You see, that's the opposite of what you might think. You might think Ludio would be favoriting me. No, they don't. <laughs> I have to, uh, friggin' struggle as just as much as you guys. Like, I don't get any resources. Ludia have never given me resources. Uh, never given me books, never given me DNA. Everything I've got in the game is been 100% earned. Whether it was through doing surveys <laughs> or something else. You know what? One final one. Go out with a bang. Primal Rage against, um, well, I don't know what against, but that should be, that should be more than enough. Come on. For the final battle, what are you going to give me? Nothing too hard. No Metricanthosaurus, please. I'll take it. I mean, that's going to be tough. Guys, it might be tough here, but I think we might be able to do it. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, why would you switch though? Why would you do that? I would just be like fodder like that. That's why you know these are bots. Because if that was any normal person, they wouldn't put in a Utah Raptor with a legendary because it would just be a waste. And they would have fodder it off, it foddered it off, if anything, knowing that I would just kill it instantly. Giving berries the best opportunity to kill me. But they don't. Because <laughs> they're bots. And they're like, well, Double Berries kill. does more attacks, so I'll switch him in. Oh wait, he's dead. Now nothing does more attack, <laughs> except for Spinosaur. Rage against Spinosaurus. Who would win? Probably uh, Rage, I'd say. I'd put all my money on it. And there you go. So that was the quickest you could do it. Rage killed them Triple each kill. time. Awesome. Triple kill. Yeah. Come on, Titanomoa. I'm thinking of a snake. I'm thinking of the biggest snake that's ever existed. I wonder what it could be. I can see it. It's a gold pack. It's going to be beautiful. <gasps> there it is. I'm visualizing it. Guys, visualize it. Visualize it. Okay. Think in your head. Look at it. Then close your eyes. Watch the spin wheel fall on it. I can see it. <gasps> I won it. <gasps> okay, you ready? Right, let's go. Go on, let's go. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. There's three Titanoboa packs. Come on. Oh, friggin' coin! Oh, that's all your fault. <laughs> you were looking at coin. Don't lie, you're jinxed. <laughs> so, guys, if you enjoyed this video, we'll not let it go on too long, because it's been bloody ages. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!